Hey everybody, welcome back, back to Viking MTG. Uh, here to do a little uh, fun little opening for you. Um, got a little shipment here from Rudy of the investments, and uh, he's doing his lottery box as you can see. One lottery. If you're a patron of his, uh, you can be eligible for this. And uh, I'm here to show it to you guys today. So, uh, you can find out the pricing and all that if you're a patron. Uh, but here you go. I'm crack it open. So I'm covering the address. The tape, um, I can't write on the tape. So I couldn't cover up the address properly. So, let me get this opened up. Design. We might even crack some cracks out of this tonight. Alright, so here we go. Here is the lottery case. Uh, one box of what's the thing? Uh, Bell for Zimicar. One box of rope for the gate. Rope for the gate watch. One box of Kalavesh. One box of Ether Revolt. One of each of the challenger decks. And I need more light in here again. Uh, I don't really need to open the challenger decks to know what's in them. Um, I might crack the Hazard Agro deck just to get the Chandra out of it, but um, <coughs> we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to open them. Um, I might actually give these away as uh, prizes for the channel. We'll see. Put me somewhere safe. As Rudy's lottery case, if you become a patron um, right now, currently, uh, you become a patron of Rudy's, um, you're eligible for uh, purchasing one of these lottery packs. So I'm um, here to show it to you guys today. So uh, I figured we would crack some of this product um, today. So why not go ahead and pick a booster box and, and open it? Um, kind of tossed up as to which one to do. I think I'm going to save these for later. Um, the expedition boxes for later. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do, do Aether Revolt today. I've had really good luck with Aether Revolt, so um, we'll give it a shot. Alright, so here we go. So we'll do it Rudy style since I'm uh, opening a Rudy product. Alright, gifted Aetherborn. Malt 
Manifest Revolutionary, Pacification Array, and Yehenny's Expertise. Being played a lot right now. Yehenny's Expertise is a heavily played card, and so is Gifted Aether Bowling. See how many failed pushes we hit in this, and we'll see if we get an uh, invention. Like uh, I said earlier, pulled from you if you see my uh, compilation video and the actual videos themselves. I've pulled multiple. Uh, actually, I've pulled a total of five inventions from this set alone in different products. Uh, Renegade Rally. Sly Requisitioner, Ridge Scale Tusker, and a Green Mill Liberator. Force and a Servo. Oh, finally have a foil. Uh, <laughs> Two packs in, I'm saying that. Three packs. Treasure Keeper, Red Scale Tusker, Renegade Wheelsmith, and then a Johnny. We hit an Johnny in an uh, uh, earlier product opening, on uh, a previous product opening, and we have Foil. Foil Battle at the Bridge. That's a full rare. Not a bad full rare. Definitely playable. And our first Mythics of Johnny. And as we have learned on this channel, just because you get a foil rare does not mean you won't hit an invention. Every single invention, every masterpiece I've opened on this channel has uh, had a foil rare in there as well. So, anybody ever tells you that, they don't know what they're talking about. We have a Skyship Plunder, a Barricade Breaker, our first Fatal Push. Very nice. And a glint sleeve siphoner. I'm gonna call my shot three fatal pushes in this box. Invention, I don't know. We have a salvage scuttler, a spire patrol, siege modification, and a heroic intervention. I'm in a circle. A lot of uh, mono black decks uh, still play Battle of the Bridge. That's a good card. We have an Outrun Boar, Ironclad Revolutionary, Renegade Wheelsmith again, and uh, Etherwind Basker. Not one of the mythics you want to see out of this product, by any means. Cogwork Assembler, Ironclad Revolutionary, Philidar Guardian, in the spire of industry. Hit, uh, broke interventions, a solid card. We have a winding constrictor, efficient construction, opter arrest, and a walking ballista. Sweet. We hit best card in the set, walking ballista. Thank you, Rudy. Awesome, awesome. Only one foil so far. We have an invigorated rampage, aerial modification. Consulate Dreadnought and another Battle of the Bridge. So, foil and non foil. Force and a servo token. We have a 
cavernous intruder, a monstrous onslaught, a hidden stockpile, and a quick smith spy. Island and Survival Token. We have a Dead Eye Harpooner, Untethered Express, Redcraft Awakening, and an Inspiring Statuary. Survival Token on the mount. We have a foil. We have a dead eye harpooner, an ornithopter, illusionist strategy, and a SRAM scenery artificer. And an ether stream leopard is our foil. Forest that jump token. Can't stand pulling ad cards, it's the worst. Such a waste of pack space. We have a Dead Eye Harpooner, <coughs> Daredevil Dragster, Windkin Raiders, and a Brawl. Nice hit. Brawl is great. Not many gremlin. Crackdown Construct, Efficient Construction, and a Greenbelt Rampage. Fist Revolutionary, Barricade Breaker, and we have a second Fatal Push, and an Oath of a Jump. Definitely have a foil here to see the edge of it. Yep, definitely have a foil. World Fast Engineer, Gremlin Infestation, Philidar Guardian, and a Solemn Recruit. Their foil is Malthus Revolutionary. We have a Dead Rebel Dragster, a Siege Modification, a Windkin Raiders, and a Hero of Anguish is our third mythic. <coughs> That's a solid mythic. Still with two bucks. Hidden Herbalist, Servo Schematic, Vengeful Rebel, and the Secret Salvage. Ravenous Intruder, Death Dismissal. Tezzeret's Touch, and a Paradox Engine, very solid. It's one of the best mythics in the game, in the set. In fact, that is the best, myth best mythic in the set. 
price wise, I think it still goes uh, walking ballista, paradox engine, and then down from there. So it's the two best cards in the set. I believe we have a foil. We have an outline boar, invigorated rampage, life crafters. I've Craft Awakening and an Ether Geode Miner. We do have a foil. Drew to the Cow. Hitting the, uh, the green foils, that's for sure. Trophy Mage, Slammer Positioner, Pacification Array, and Akari Zed. Island and a Servo. A Scrapper Champion, Trophy Mage, Tezzeret's Touch, and Dark Intimations. And a foil of the dispersal technician. There's shielded ether thief, restoration specialist, desert's touch again, and a quicksmith rubble. I guess it's a uh, touch em two times Tezzy. If you rock with APS, you know what I mean. We have a foil. We have a shielded ether thief. Here not Admiral. And Rage Giant. And a Metallic Mimic. Nice, another great card is being played. Zombies. We have a fourth bridge prowler. That is the replace set of those in my uh, zombie deck. Only problem with Metallic Mimic, and I know problem would exist with many other cards as well. Um, people see you play that and immediately target it for removal. It doesn't fly under cover, it, they, people see it and immediately want to remove it. So, especially when I'm playing online, play one of those, bam, fatal push. Bam, Vraska's Contempt, Lightning Bolt, with a Lightning uh, Blast, whatever. Or strike, I mean. They, no matter what, they find a way to remove it before you can start getting those counters. We have a Depth Dismissal, Reckless Racer, Reverse Engineer, and a Scrap Trawler. Foundry Hornet, Spire Patrol, Reckless Racer, and a Consulate Crackdown. And a Tezzy Token. Or Emblem. Foundry Hornet, Aeronaut Admiral. Air, airdrop Paranauts, kind of Crackdown Construct, and a Free Jam Region. I have a Weld Fast Engineer, 
cogwork assembly, air drop admirals, air drop air knots, and a call for unity. Planes in a circle. Sitting with two fatal pushes. Hope we can ramp that number up. At least at three. Not in this box. I have a rogue refiner, invigorated rampage, and a Pima Aether Sea. And a second Gloat Sea Siphoner. Island and a Thopter. Refiner, Life Crafter's Gift, Enraged Giant, and a Hope of Gear Appear. A Treasure Keeper, Consulate Dreadnought, Aerial Modification. And a Yehenny. We have a Hidden Herbalist, Renegade Rallyer. Reverse Engineer, and an Ape from the Cow, and we have a Foil, Daredevil Dragster. Oh, well, we're getting towards the end here, so our hunt for inventions might uh, prove fruitless today. We'll see. Can we get there in the end? We have a Hidden Herbalist, Binding Constrictor, Perilous Predicament, and a rich car. We've had all the best uh, rares and mythics on set. For the most part. Not seeing anything in here. Um, not seeing anything we missed as far as the value cards. We've hit everything. A salvage sculler. Servo schematic. Vengeful Rebel, and an Aether Spear Harvester. Now we have it, basically everything of value. Every card of note. Two packs to go. Tethered Express, Maverick Poptress, Hungry Flames, and a Disallow. We have hit everything of any note in this set. I'm definitely happy with this box. Thank you, Rudy. Great box. Thopter, Gifted Aetherborn, Hidden Stockpile, and a Lightning Runner Mythic. So we hit five Mythics. So we did pretty darn well with this box. Cannot complain about this box. No masterpiece, but uh, we did real well on our rares. We hit every rare of note. So, hope everybody enjoyed this opening. Uh, this is part of the Rudy Lottery box, and the remainder will just uh, go towards the uh, Hunt for Invention series. Hope everybody enjoyed this, and uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their week, and uh, see you later.